Uh, I love that feeling of being in a car and being on the edge. The speed, um, being able to go out there and give something your all. I'm Spencer Boyd and I'm a NASCAR driver. I think everybody has that moment, um, whether it's you know a sport or what they do outside of uh, you know just being a young kid. You realize that you have passion for something. I was 10 years old racing at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and I drove through the tunnel for the first time. And you get in that stadium, and you're just like, "Wow, you know this is crazy." And uh, you know I want to have that feeling every weekend. My first memory of Ranch Hand, I would have to say uh, a few years ago, uh, detailing cars at Autobell. You know, just a regular kid uh, chasing the racing dream, and I remember seeing a truck come through with a Ranch Hand bumper, and uh, you know, you didn't see a whole lot of that in Missouri and that sort of thing, so it caught my eye, and I'm like, wow, you know, this, this bumper is well built, and, and coming from a racing background, I always look at welds and stuff like that that stands out to me, and I, I just thought, this thing is overbuilt, you know? You know, I knew it was a well-built product, uh, I knew it looked great, but I didn't know all the steps and the process and, and where it came from. So coming down here to the plant, getting to see from start to finish, um, all the guys, you know, whether it's designing um, to actually bending, cutting, welding, and then, you know, on over to powder coat. It's just amazing how much work goes into these bumpers and you can really see why uh, they can protect your truck and, and potentially save your life. So in racing, you know, everybody's chasing the, the same goal on the racetrack. You know, you're going as fast as possible, trying to pass everybody, but everybody has the same goal, you're moving forward. You know, I know things happen really quick on the racetrack, and, and people don't realize things happen just as fast on the highway. You wonder if people are maintaining their vehicle or um, are they really paying attention to the road? You have so many people texting and driving nowadays, so it's always in the back of my mind. Um, I know what I do on a regular basis, racing takes extreme focus, and people forget that when you're doing 80 mile an hour on the highway, uh, you still gotta pay attention. So to not have a grill guard or a bumper just doesn't make any sense.